Yo, what's good everyone the transport here and welcome back to another episode of Drive Club. You join me here now online. Uh because we're gonna do something different for a change. We're gonna drive because the car we're driving today is without a doubt the Nissan GTR Nismo. And what we're gonna do is we I just finished one race now, I'm going to to another one. And we're gonna test this car out first hand online. Because, to be honest, I haven't got a lot of online gameplay on my channel, and it's about time that we've got some online gameplay now. So let's do this, people! This is the car in question. 600 horsepower, this thing. And everyone's driving it, so it's not just me. Right, let's begin. Oh, you're all dead. See? Same as that, same as the same one. Duck! Uh -oh. uh, no, you don't. Yes, yeah, CTR uh, landmine, but you, none of you are on my team. Ow, ow, sorry. Let's go that way then. You're an idiot. You are an idiot. He's mine. Handle that drifty four-wheel drive thing. I'm surprised. And again, this thing is pretty drifty itself. Oh, I don't like you. Very good. 170 here. Light tap. And then heavy brake it. Ah! And ooh! Grip on that and then power away. Yes, very good. Oh wait a minute, that's not my team. I keep getting confused what's on my team or not. All the blues are right behind me and I'm Trying to defend first place here. Eh, that's not good. Too slow. Come on, baby, light my fire. Come on, come on, come on. That's not good. Through there. Why am I always... My driving style changes whenever I'm online. I don't know why. I'm more timid. Just be, this is live action. Live action. I'm not really concerned with... Come on, kids. Very good. Oh, that was too slow. Damn it! Hmm. Now they've caught up. All right. You deal with that one. I'm gonna slightly power through over here, I think. Yes, power through here. Do not hit that wall, Mister. Drifted through there. I can power through here. And across the line. Uh, but my team didn't even finish. Yep, they took it. I'm gonna blame someone. This the law say let there be light. Anyway, uh, so a few um details about the GTR before we load our next lobby. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with my driving style today. I think it's just the online pressure. Other than that, uh, uh, there's a lot more down for us as I as uh, previously thought from the old from the uh, standard GTR. Um, those problems that I mentioned about their first one, I think they're still there. I mean, it does have a lot more power, yes, but 
torque-wise, it doesn't get all the power out at the end. And that could actually be an issue because it has only 480. Now, if you watched a drag race done between it and the Land Limiter with that dumb motor, I don't really trust Motor Trend, but they did it because they did like a world greatest drag race and they did it put the GTR up against the Land Limiter Turbo S and the Turbo S minced it, like completely demolished it. And there are two reasons for that one, because it's lighter, and two, because it has more torque. 560, 516 pound feet of torque compared to 480 found in the GTR Nismo. So, with that said, can it beat the rough RT12R? Because that's pretty much one of the best, uh, one of the best cars in the superclass. I mean, the, the standard GTR couldn't beat the R RGT8. So, let's see if the um. Nismo can beat the RT12. We're not gonna see it now because we're only dealing with new cars in this one. This one's gonna be iffy. Go! Gallardo is much lighter than me. Despite me having more power. But I can get through here! Yeah, baby! That was actually prematurely done. I was faster than the McLaren Jack. Come on! Alright, see, they're catching up already, Jack. Yes! You hit the wall! Ah, oh, hell. I did not hit the wall. I might hit the wall. Ooh, no, you don't. Oh, come on, baby, come on. Ugh. Too much braking. Could have gone through that much faster. Don't release the throttle, you imbecile. Now, driving the Nismo. That guy is still behind me. Oh my God, this guy is no joke. But he's on my team, so that's good. Can't say this is gonna suck or not. Ugh, control it, Mister. This guy's good. Considering he's driving a drifter, fellow drifting. Everyone else is gone. Yep. Ah. Lost it. Should be the end here. Ow! What are you doing, you idiot? Okay, really? You're right, mate. You're right. Yep. And let's go. You said I'd pull off the road, but no. He's keeping it steady. And he's all behind me. Let him go. Ow! Really? Ow! Ow! Sod it. Never keep a car queen online. <sighs> Not oh, you imbecile! Will you get off the grass or the sand, whatever it is? This again. Oh, 
That was pretty. Pretty too gingerly now. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, off the grass. Come on, baby, come on. You're one of the world's greatest track cars. This is gonna hurt. I hate that corner. It's always so deceiving. Hate this corner too. Okay, baby. Let's keep it going. Oh my, I'm an idiot. Where are my teammates, man? Yeah, it's very good. There he is. Take charge, mate. Can I not? Yes, very good. That's a clean corner. Suck! It's already catching up, dude. Very good. And finish. Come on, baby. Alright, last one. Hopefully I get first in this one, or top three. Caius Point Reverse. So, to sum up, GTR is definitely one hell of a monster, but uh, it seems on a straight line it probably can't outrun the lighter Gallardo Squadro Corsa or the 458 Speciale. But in the corners it probably can. My main concern is if it can beat the 458 Italia, which it can. Can it beat the 458 special Speciale? So here's what we're going to do after this. We're going to compare it to the 458 Speciale. And then we're going to compare it to the Roof RT12R. Because those are its main rivals in this case. Track munches in this case that are pretty good at what they do. So then, So we will do that. For now, let's get this thing started. Off we go. That Coyote was quick. Okay, don't ram me off the road. I'm on the same team, you idiot. That guy can't control it, can you? Ow! Can't control it, can you? Oh. I 
Okay. More torque in that Rivali then. You need to move. Smash my front, stupid Gallardo. Yeah, that's right. Hit that wall. People stink. Oh, this lobby's been done already. Wow. Yep, so much more control. A lot lighter than the older one. Control in those apexes. Go. You can power through here. Break right here. This is a complicated corner. Oh, understeer. Slow. My mm. friends all messed up. Oh well. Okay, so that's basically the gist of the whole thing. So the Nismo, as we said before, uh, definitely a pre very, very good car for track circuits and everything. Much lighter than the other GTR. We'll still get a bit slidey here and there, but torque wise. At the high end, I am pretty worried because a Gallardo could pretty much take it. It has a lot more acceleration than the Nismo. And speaking of which, let's go to the 458. At the end, all matters is the end time, right? So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to test it against its main rallies from Ferrari. Well, from Ferrari. Not from Ferrari. Oh, yeah, Ferrari. Ferrari? Yeah. Ferrari, Chevrolet, and Roof. As well, so let's go and do that. And after that, that's all we have to do.
So there you are everyone, the GTR although fast and pretty grippy not fast enough to compete against some of the high ends of the super class your rough RT12, your 458 Speciale or the Corvette Z06. There are two reasons why I cannot well I think it depends it depends on the track though because I did take this car at um, to uh, Maplewood 01 in Canada and it was fast around there than the 458 and the VET but not faster than the uh, RT12R. It depends on the track for, but for the most part the car is pretty grippy, very grippy actually. Easily manageable, probably one of the an ideal track car but its weight and its torque curve is pretty much a main issue. That means pretty much, that means um, well it does get the down force down but it doesn't have what it takes to have it on the streets. That's why the RT12R, the, all the other cars, the Corvette Z06, RT12R, um, the 458 Speciale, all took it out at Ben Depot Reverse. If you guys want to see me take the car, take um, the VET and the 458 against the Dismo at Maple Wood, let me know so I can prove to you that it depends on the track that on which the GTR is best. But for the most part, this is a pretty, pretty, pretty good car. Um, it's no question when people are always driving it in the lobby is ready. I wouldn't doubt it. I'm still gonna believe in it. I know that, you know, people who already did as much GTR and you know it might not be as top notch as people might say it is, but you know, weight and torque is definitely an issue. I mean hopefully in the next GTR the car will have a bit more torque in there. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the comparison and the bit of mayhem and multiplayer with the new GTR. Next time we'll be doing more reviews and such like that. And rate, comment and subscribe and I will see you later. See your face in the crowd But you don't seem so far away None of these tools is empty space Empty space Even when the music is loud